Brian, you alright mate? Good mate, how are you? Yeah, good. Excellent. I hear a little rumour that you're getting your boots back on. I am, yes. Quality. Tell me about it. I'll be playing in the Star Sixes in Glasgow just after the New Year, so... Um, yeah, I'll be playing for Wales, obviously against England, Scotland, Republic, Northern Ireland, the rest of the world team. Yeah. So, yeah, playing with obviously some ex-teammates and playing against some players who I used to play against, so should be good. Who's in your squad? Craig Bellamy, Dean Saunders, um, Rob Earnshaw. Um, so, yeah, a lot of quality on the pitch. Lovely stuff. Hopefully I'll get a game. <laughs> so that was just our Sixers teammates. Uh, this is your Manchester United teammates. Probably Cristiano Ronaldo um, overall, because obviously what he's gone and done um, at Real Madrid. But the, probably the, for my duration at Man United, the best player I played was Paul Scholes. He was unreal, wasn't he? Yeah. He was just a step ahead of every other player on the football pitch. Not only in games, um, but also in training. He was, yeah, you couldn't touch him. Early doors, uh, Roy Keane, Nicky Butt. Um, and then towards the end, Patrice Evra was... Um, I love this game. <laughs> yeah, as now, uh, apparently, I'm not on social media, but apparently everyone... And you must have gets seen to it. See. Yeah, I'm on Instagram. I've seen <laughs> clips, yeah. Patrice was good at taking people off, impressions of how people would walk, how people would speak, and yeah, it was funny. How people would walk? Yeah, just like if you had a walk, he could take you off like that. <laughs> just little little things that you just would notice, but until he brought it to your attention, ah, oh, yeah, he does that, or he does this. He could, yeah, he was watching you all the time. Yeah, Cristiano, definitely. Um, you know, when he first come, he was probably doing too much too many skills on the pitch yeah. and not enough end product. And then once he got rid of that um, and yeah, started scoring goals, making goals, but he still had that you know, bit where he could turn it on. What was he like as a, as a bloke when he first joined the club? Um, he, was, he was young, obviously he was 18, um, still learning his trade. It was a tough school to come into yeah. uh, because like I say, he was doing too many skills and Quite often, if, he, if he'd be taking too many touches, he would he would get it in training. He would he would get kicked. He had to he had to grow up quite quickly, and he certainly did that to obviously go into to be one of the best players in the world. Roy was obviously hard. Um, I played with Yap Stam. I played with Steve Bruce, who literally'd have to have a broken leg not to play, yeah. and not to turn up. I mean, he would pull his hamstring and just say to the physios. Just stick some DP on it, I'll be okay. <laughs> Serious? I mean, ridiculous, yeah. I think he come, I think he had a hernia in about 93, 94. I think he played with it for about a year and then had the hernia operation and then come back after like two and a half weeks. What an absolute don. Yeah. Patrice could dance, yeah. He was in charge of the music before the games and... Well, yeah. copying people's walks. Probably, <laughs> copying people's dances, yeah. He might have been copying my dance, that's why he was the best dancer. Yeah. Um, no, he was... Um, no, he could move. He could move, yeah. You got a few moves? In my younger days, yeah. Really? Yeah. What were you pulling out on the dance floor? I don't think there's a word for it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren Blanc. Um, so, you know, in the boxes before we go in, 5v2, 6v2, yeah. he was a little cheeky nutmeg um, king because you wouldn't think it is obviously such a tall. Say. Yeah, but he would have that slow one where he'd roll it just oh, no. on his laces, that's, just through. That's yeah, that's it was a killer. That, it? it was a killer. Andre Kinchelskis was quick and he looked quick. You know, when he runs, you know, some people look like effortless. But he was quick, and he looked quick as well. Because when he ran, it was, everything was like moving, yeah. wasn't it? So it just looked... He just looked mean when he ran. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yeah, everything. It just looked uh, powerful. Yeah. You were quite quick as well, weren't you? Yeah, but I can't choose myself. You can? No, I wasn't, qu I wasn't quicker than Andre. Probably, with the ball, I was probably quicker than him, but in a yeah. race, no, he was quick. I'd have to say Bex, probably. Bex yeah. took a lot of... Um, a pride in, in how he looked and obviously took a few risks over the years as well. <laughs> yes, he, he certainly <laughs> did. But he was always, he was always smart. Yeah? Yeah. Does he smell nice as well? He does. <laughs> <laughs> Play 
players like Steve Bruce, Gary Pallister, who, yeah, would train. But <laughs> just be there. Just be there, yeah. <laughs> but then on the pitch when it matters, yeah, yeah they, they turned up. I think you probably already guessed this, but yeah, Gary Neville. <laughs> and he's not changed. He hasn't changed? No, about everything, about, yeah, training, about... He'd be onto the kit man, he'd be onto the chef, he'd be onto everyone. Um, it just, it's not quite good enough, and like I say, he's not changed. Do you ever just go, Gary, shut up? Yeah, everyone does, but it doesn't <laughs> seem to deter him. <laughs> Why is he like that? I don't know. I think it just makes him happy. <laughs> do you generally think him moaning makes him happy? Yeah. Yeah, I think he'd be lost <laughs> without it. <laughs>